You know, the fact that we're still here on this planet is a genuine miracle because the universe has tried to kill us off so many times. And the only reason we're still here is because the universe did kill off other things, which reset the evolutionary timeline so humans could evolve. But just because we're here now doesn't mean we're here to stay. There have been a series of close calls that could have wiped us out just like the dinosaurs. For example, has anyone ever told you about August 12th, 1883? It seems that on that day, a pack of comets, 447 of them, were counted passing between the Earth and the Sun over the course of just two days. Subsequent analysis of observations by a Mexican astronomer suggest that these were pieces of a billion-ton comet and that there were even more chunks than were counted perhaps as many as 3,200 of these chunks. So how close did all this primordial space debris come to Earth? Perhaps as close as 300 miles. Not 300 million or 300,000, 300 miles. And most of them, if not every single one of these 3,200 chunks of ice and rock, would have packed a 15 megaton punch had they hit us. That's 1,000 times more powerful than the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. 15 megatons each, and there were 3,200 of them. There's still some study to do, but it looks like planet Earth and all life on it barely escaped an extinction event on August 12th, 1883. An event which would have made what the dinosaurs went through look like a rainy day. Now you know a secret about our collective mortality. Now let me share some secrets about rock. This is the Secret History of Rock with Alan Cross. Welcome again. I'm Alan Cross, and we're ready for another two hours of musical enlightenment. This program is all about things you may not know about the music you love. This time we're going to look at husband and wife teams in rock, how death can be an excellent career move, and the concept of selling out. Plus, we'll review some of the things that happened in 1998. But first, though, let's stick with the subject of space. That whole comet story really kind of has me freaked out. Themes of space, science fiction, UFOs, and the like go all the way back to the early days of rock and roll. For example, there was this crazy rockabilly dude in the 1950s named Billy Lee Riley. He was a contemporary of Jerry Lee Lewis and Carl Perkins and Little Richard. And he recorded a lot of his material at Sun Studios, the same place that gave us Elvis. And in 1957, he had a hit with a track called Flying Saucers Rock and Roll. (laughs) 